Good day, folks. It's me again. It's uh, well another lamp video, but you like this one? It's a really old, interesting one. Let's have a look. What it is? Is a 250 watt Osram MA slash V lamp. The MA means it's a medium pressure lamp, and the V means it's for vertical burning only. Now, the medium pressure lamp was developed in the early 1930s. It was the first successful mercury lamp for general lighting applications. And unlike the later high pressure mercury lamps that we know today, which had quartz ox tubes, these use a form of aluminosilicate hard glass. So obviously if you burn them horizontally, the arc tube would overheat and melt. So these were for either cap up or cap down burning only. Uh, some lanterns did have magnetic arc deflectors, but most were designed to either run cap up or cap down. Now obviously these aren't very efficient. They only kick out 8750 lumens, colour temperature 5400K, colour rendering is going to be really really poor and uh, well they were developed in the 1930s but this one isn't, this one's from 1963 they did make them for quite a while for replacement purposes before being well they were made obsolete by the high pressure lamp so anyway uh, let's have a quick look at the details and then we'll fire it up so here we can see the arc tube support, basically a spring that keeps it centralised. Behind that at the top you can see the exhaust pip and we can also see one of the electrodes. That's uh, quite an unusual electrode when you compare it to modern lamps so I'll see if we can get a closer shot at that. There we can see the, well one of the main electrodes, quite unusual compared to a modern lamp. Modern mercury lamps have a sort of like actual shank with a coil round it. This is obviously a transverse. And the auxiliary electrode is actually between the two lead wires of the main electrode behind it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to make that out. But that part right behind the main electrode is the auxiliary starting electrode. Try to play with the focus a bit, see if we can see that. Yeah. No. Anyway, so let's fire it up. I did forget to mention the service life of this is also quite poor, 6,000 hours. Whereas a modern high pressure lamp is over 20,000, but what can you do for 1930s technology? Anyway, enough waffle waffle, time to fire it up. These lamps are for vertical burning only. In the interest of getting a better shot of the camera, I've turned the camera on its side, so this is not burning horizontally, this is burning vertically. I've just turned the camera on its side. Firing up in three, two, one, zero. Oh, look at that. Turn the meters on. So the arc voltage at the minute is about 18 volts. He starts off really low. Oh, that's beautiful, that is. 17.8 volts and we're pulling 3.4 amps from the ballast I am running this on a 250 watt mercury vapor lamp they run on the same electrical characteristics the arc voltage should be 128 volts with a current of 2.15 amps so at the minute now, that uh, discharge is really, 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 really. Just pause it for a second there while I change the camera white balance didn't miss much it only stopped for a second or so but you can actually see the uh, some of the mercury on the wall of the arc tube starting to evaporate and you will see the column thicken or rather not thicken you know what I mean it'll, it'll <laughs> I'm talking shite ignore that Thank you. 
I'll just tweak the ND filter slightly so we can see the arc better. Twenty five volts at three point three two amps. So this will take quite a while to run up. Not sure if I'll fast forward or not. We'll have to see when I play this back. Discharge is starting to constrict now. Thirty volts, three point two five amps. It's a beautiful blue colour. I do like clear mercury lamps even though uh, they are horrendous light sources. I mean I can see now looking at my skin, my skin's got a horrible pale colour. It just sucks the life out of everything. We're at 40 volts. Really starting to constrict now. Bit more ND. Fifty volts, three amps. Obviously, if I back off the ND filter, you can see uh, we're starting to get quite bright. I did notice when I was photographing this lamp when last time I fired it up that uh, where the springs contact the arch tube it must act as a sort of heat sink because there seems to be like a condensed mercury there for a while obviously that's probably the coldest spot 73 volts 2.7 amps that's an aeroplane Probably a Ryanair. I really can't stand Ryanair. I'll pay extra to fly somewhere with EasyJet or Lufthansa, anyone but Ryanair. But I digress. 88 volts, 2.5 amps. 90 volts. That hum you hear is not the ballast, it's my fluorescent overhead, which I'm going to give it a thump now. Shut up. Fucking thing. Yeah, the uh, louvres on it vibrate sometimes. Reminds me of being in school when we used to have... Uh, Classrooms used to be lit by 125 watt, 8 foot thorn popular packs, and they used to hum all the time. So, when we were copying out of textbooks, all you could hear was mm, the whole them ballasts humming about. You don't get that with LED anymore. A bit more ND. It's really uh, constricted now. We're at 111 volts, 2.3 amps. We're almost at full power now. If you're still watching, I uh, commend you. You're my star viewers if you're still watching at this point. So we're at 120 volts. 2.18 amps, so pretty much almost there at full power. I'd say that was fully run up. 123 volts, 2.15 amps. 125 volts, 2.14. So that's the lamp fully run up. I'm going to change to the macro lens. So there's the top electrode. 
You can see the auxiliary starting electrode is hiding between the two legs of that electrode. And uh, you can see where the discharge is splitting off from it. Pan down, we've got the exhaust tip. Another aeroplane. Oh, try and keep the focus. Support spring. At the bottom we have the bottom electrode. So mercury vapor lamp. Medium pressure mercury vapor lamp. 1930s technology was used up until the 60s. Made obsolete by the high pressure lamp. Oh, focus. Anyway, I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. If there's anyone still watching, every pro everyone probably clicked through five minutes ago, but if you're still with me, I thank you for being with me. As all my meters go asleep. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye now.